Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and the numbers are in for June. And, uh, well, if you're wondering why you don't see the uh, May 2019 update, it's still a very, very small chunk of Windows 10. So, for June of 2019, the uh, Windows 10 May 2019 update, or 1903, is only 6.3% of all PCs. Now, that's roughly 5% more than last month. So, it's not a very big upgrade. It is going to be interesting to see in July because we are told that it will be pushed to those on 1803. Right now, 1803, the April 2018 update, is still 58% of Windows 10 PCs. And the Windows 10 October 2018 update, 1809, is on 30% of PCs. So a third of everybody is on October 2018, 58% are on April 2018. But together, that means 88% of all of you out there are on a version of Windows 10 from last year. And so uh, the upgrade path of the May 2019 update is very slow. It's almost as slow as the October 2018 update, basically. So we'll see if this actually gets better. One thing for sure, the fact that, for example, if you're on the October, the 30% that are on the October 2018 update, uh, the fact that you guys have it as an optional update is probably going to do something to slow down the progress. A lot of people won't click that download and install. And a lot of people won't even see the download and install, honestly. You know, one of the biggest things that uh, I didn't think about first, but, you know, we are a different breed. People that see this video often are the ones that will go and check out Windows updates. But for the majority of people, they don't go and check if there's Windows updates. It tells you Windows updates are available, which means they see and install the uh, cumulative updates for security and stuff like that. But the thing is, if you don't go and check out Windows updates, you don't see that there's an optional update that is ready to download and install. So this is going to slow down the versions of Windows 10 in the upgrade path. This is maybe why once a year is going to be why the, the update, basically, because what's happening now is if you consider the fact that there's going to be like so many Windows versions out there with dismal or smaller, you know, updates and, and, and smaller, um, you know, market share, this is an interesting moment here where, you know, things are not forced on you and so on. Of course, at the 58% of the April 2018, technically, these people, by the end of, you know, by November, should technically be on 1903. That would give 1903 a 60-plus percent market share. But it's kind of interesting. And I'd like to know, are there people that actually are receiving still the October 2018 update rather than being proposed the um, you know, 1903, May 2019 update? That's that's a question I'd like answered, basically. So anyways, this is uh, what it looks like. So if you're wondering why you don't have it, well, 93.7% of all of you out there don't have 1903. So that's as simple as that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.